So I think government has to be more creative on a going forward basis so that there's less pressure on you know, Forex and our international reserves so that this balance of payment crisis that we are facing can be averted going forward. Um, so that is just one you know, of such examples. Now, going forward, I know that it's going to be extremely important that government really executes its policy of being more export-oriented. You know, today we have the Africa Continental Free Trade Arrangement, AFCA, where we are hoping to have more intra-Africa trade. And how we do that is going to be important. Can African economies agree that we're going to use some uh, currency beside the USD so that we don't put undue pressure on us trying to access USD in order to trade amongst ourselves and actually grow our economies? So I think um, it's going to be important for government for me to be very creative. Thirdly, when it comes to key projects, as I said, we have a huge infrastructure deficit in, in our country. There's a need for us to actually bridge that gap. But we need to think through how we go about, you know, um, building those infrastructures, all right, be it roads, bridges, or what have you. Can we actually have some public sector, um, you know, private sector partnerships where they can come up with projects that have clear value for money and can pay for itself? All these creative ideas are going to be extremely important, you know, in addition to the IMF bailout for us to come out of this crisis on a, a much stronger footing going forward. So I think that those are some of the things that government is thinking about, and they need to be very creative so that we come out stronger than when we went in.